here from HMO Heaven again, and I'm excited to be back with you today. And we're on site in one of our little HMOs. This is a little three bed we've got. Gorgeous little thing. And I'm here to talk to you about something very important. How to get the keys straight. This is going to change your life. I've seen it all the time and we used to have this problem ourselves. You go along for a view with a letting agent, an estate agent, an owner and they have to try every key in the lot five times before they can get in because they've got a huge, huge, tangly, jangly bunch of keys and the key fobs that are on it bear no resemblance to what keys are in what rooms and it's all a bit of a guessing game to get in. Well, when you've got lots of properties and lots of keys, it's good to have a fail-safe way of knowing which key is which really quickly and that is what I'm bringing you today. You know my little saying, it's the little things that have the big impact. So I'm going to show you our little sim, so I'm going to show you our little system. I've brought along three sets of keys just to show you as examples of how we do it. So this is the first one. And on the top white um, key fob there, we put the house code. And then you can see here that you've got, oh, can you see? We've got room one, room two, room three, room four, room five, and each of those has got a key on. So you know when you pick it up that the white one, we always make the white as the main key. That's the front door key right there. And then you can pick up any room key and the right key is there on it. So it's really simple. And I'll say I'll show you how it works for a bit more complicated setups. So here's another couple of sets of keys. So this one, the, the white one is the main, the main door. Oh, I'm not doing this very well, is the main door key, and that's the, the property code. And then we've got the usual, each each room has its own key, one, two, three, four. Five, and then this one's got more keys. Um, there's a back door key, a patio key, there's window keys, there's a lock attached key, and each is all labelled. So you've got all the keys there on one bundle, and each individual key is labelled so you know exactly what each key is. But what people say to me then is, yeah, that looks great, how do I do it? What keys do I put onto what keys? So I'm actually going to walk you through how to do it, which is going to be a bit difficult one-handed. Um, but the first thing to do is when you go to the property, you um, you go in with your huge bunch of keys, you test every door and you work out which key fits which lock. When you go to the property, have already written out um, a fob with the, um, with the property code on it and a fob for each room that's in the property, say one, two, three, four, five in this case, and you might have other fobs written up for back door, front door, window keys, or what have you. So once you've tested all the keys, worked out which key opens which door, you put the keys onto the correct fob. So that's the room door, so that's the room door key for room one, for example. Um, and once you've got that, your keys are lined out, and you've got your front door key, you, um, you put the put the white tag or whichever colour tag you want to be the front door. I suggest you always choose one because we always know that our white fobs are for the front door. So you add it to the small the small hole. Uh, these fobs are the one hole's a small and one's a big hole. So you add the front key to the small hole. Okay. Then next you need another link. Um, and you put that through the big hole. And then you attach all of the room keys in their fobs to, to this new link which you've just created. So because I'm holding the uh, phone with one hand um, to record this, I can't actually do that. So I'm just going to quickly do that and then I'll come back online and quickly show you. Okay, won't be a moment. And that's the finished bunch of keys, the front door key, and all of the room keys attached one after the other, all facing in the same direction. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Easy as that. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? It's the little things, big impact, and it's very, very satisfying. 
Only one attempt per key. To open the door, you absolutely know that the key is going to open the door. Very satisfying, or maybe I'm easily pleased. One thing I should point out though is that we don't go around with keys to the properties. I brought these along today to do this demonstration. We use key safes in all our properties and if you're not sure what I'm talking about then I'm going to do another video which is all about the key safes. So look out for our HMO tip number six which will be all about the key safes. Let me know in the comments what you do regarding your own keys. Do you have a better system? Is that even possible? If you do, let me know about it in the comments. Or if you found this useful, you think you're going to implement it, also let me know in the comments. And, or do you have other questions that you'd like to see tackled in a video? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to run your own rent to rent business and scale up quickly like we have, then you will be You'll love this. It's called Getting Your First Deal. And it's everything you need to know to get your first deal. Working direct with me every week, you'll go through everything, all the templates, all the scripts, all the information you need to take, the steps you need to take to get that first deal will all be included in this course that's gonna be launching soon. If you wanna be among the first people to hear about it, then register below where you see it says, get your first deal. And for everyone, if you're an experienced HMO investor, or if you are just about to start out, then come and join us at HMO Heroes on Facebook. It's the place to be for motivation, inspiration and information and to continue the conversation. Okay, um, it's been fantastic to be with you again, guys. If you found this video useful, please, please, please give it a thumbs up and also comment and share if you know anyone who would find this useful. Uh, so that's it from me for this week. I will see you again next week, guys, where we'll be talking key safes. Okay, bye for now. See you soon.